Help is also coming from Northeast Wisconsin. Local 5 was the first to tell you about a donation drive at a De Pere church. Local 5's Bryce Oselin is there live now to tell us how things are going. Bryce? The First United Presbyterian Church is collecting supplies for those affected by Hurricane Ian. Those donating say after seeing the storm's aftermath, they had to take action. Others, obviously, uh, they've been hit with a disaster and it's very much in need. And they say we have the ability to be able to help out and we would like to do it. The church's sister congregation, Chapel by the Sea in Fort Myers, lost everything due to Ian. Pastor Luke Farwell says the church is collecting things that are badly needed. We're asking for items that have been requested by folks right in Fort Myers, and uh, the church that we're working with is a distribution center. Church volunteers will head to Florida in the next week to deliver those donations. Farwell hopes the delivery will offer some help in more ways than one. Well, we're hoping that most of all, they'll know that they're not forgotten, that people are thinking about them all the way up in northeast Wisconsin, and that we as a nation are rallying around them. And I think that that means so much to people, especially when they're in a situation where they're going through such a traumatic event, to know that people are thinking about them, praying for them, and most of all, that uh, we care. As you can see, the donations are already starting to pile here at the church. The church will be collecting items through this Saturday. Reporting live in De Pere, Bryce Oslin, Local 5 News. Oh my goodness, Bryce, I can't believe how many donations are coming in since we first reported on this yesterday. Tremendous. Thank you.